and welcome back to my channel. Today is all about autumn outfits and I'm going to be going through as many autumnal outfits as I can think of to give you lots of inspiration for beautiful things to wear in this beautiful season. So I've come up with some different categories and all of the outfits will fit into one of those and they are as follows. Statement pieces, luxe, all in one colour, back to school inspired and casual. So for statement pieces, obviously we've got some really very bold pieces that I've built some outfits around. For Lux, we're looking at really rich colours and luxurious textures. Back to school inspired, we're looking more at academia, light academia, dark academia, that kind of thing. All in one colour, does what it says on the tin. <laughs> And casual, well, I've tried to include as many different outfits as I can without jeans to encourage some creativity, but because jeans are such a fantastic staple of any wardrobe, I have also included a couple of outfits with jeans and they fall into the casual section. I've also tried to use some traditional colours for autumn, so orange, browns, greens, that kind of thing, neutrals as well. But I've also gone for some non-traditional autumnal colours as well, like maroon and purple, because, you know, they're lovely. <laughs> So whether you're looking for some inspiration for something to wear to the woods when you're conquer collecting or you're going to the pumpkin patch, I've got you covered. <laughs> so now I think you know everything you need to know, let's get dressed. So this is the first combination with this dress, obviously I've got the dress and then I've paired it with my peach blouse with the enormous frilled collar, I think it's fabulous. It's got quite transparent sleeves so you've got a nice bit of waft there <laughs> and I've also paired it with my big leather uh, brown boots, they are really comfortable, like super comfortable and I thought it was quite a nice combination. I decided not to put any tights on because I'm pretty much all covered up and I thought a little bit of flesh showing was okay. I've also put my hair out, I think it just looks a little bit neater. I really like this outfit, I feel really comfortable in it, I feel like I could go walking along, this is me walking, <laughs> I feel like I could go for a really nice walk in the woods in this and I would be fine because I've got me trusty walking boots, I've got a nice wool dress and I've got some sleeves on as well. Oh I'm gonna take my glasses off otherwise I'm just gonna be shining my eyes at you. So anyway this is the first outfit, I really like it, I'm gonna try it with a few other combinations too because this is the first statement piece. Okay this is the second outfit, I have got my hair loose for this one and oh really like this one. So I have combined a burgundy top and a burgundy scarf for added interest, got a little tan crossbody bag and then no tights again because I'm still <laughs> rocking the bare leg but this time I've decided to pull in some orange socks to pull in with the dress to go with some burgundy boots. I really love this! I know burgundy isn't traditionally really um, an autumnal colour but I think it looks really nice. It was a little bit of a gamble because as you can see there's actually no burgundy, oh there we go, there's no burgundy on the dress but I wanted to kind of go with this pairing and see what I think. I feel really good in it, it feels really nice and warm. Um, oh I've also brought in a kind of burnished orange for the hairband as well so we've got it in all three fixed points <laughs> that you can look at. I think it looks really nice and I like the crossbody bag as well because there's a lot going on in this outfit. So something small, simple and practical works brilliantly. I love this one. <laughs> so this is my favourite one. Now I thought this outfit was going to be a bit boring because you know we've got the plain cream blouse on and in comparison with the others I thought well cream you know neutral. I absolutely adore this outfit. I mean I think it's the socks. Look at these they're just absolutely bonkers aren't they? I love them. <laughs> they're knee high. They are probably too small for me because my poor little legs are feeling a little bit restricted but you know it's worth it because I love the outfit. So I've combined it with some kind of much warmer colour pearls than I would normally wear. These are almost like a kind of golden pearl, if that's a thing. I don't know. Yellowy pearls, but that sounds horrible. But anyway, they are that. They're not that kind of crisp white ivory pearl that you'd normally see. And I've combined it with my favourite bag. <laughs> Absolutely love this. Um, everything I'm wearing came from Charity Shop except for my socks which I got for £4 from TK Maxx, which is a bargain. So yeah, I, I, I just... <laughs> I just, I think the socks are bonkers and that really pulls it together. And something that's just occurred to me, with the pattern, you can probably tell I watched Clueless the other night, because <laughs> it's coming through, it's inspired this outfit by Clueless. I can't stop moving about because I'm, I'm so happy with this outfit, I really like it. It feels like me, it feels a bit silly and kind of stylish but kind of silly as well and I think that's, pro that's probably me, stylish and silly. Anyway, oh 10 out of 10 for this one, I love it. <laughs> 
Okay, and just like that, I think I have a new favorite. Look at this, absolutely adore this. Okay, let's start from let's start from the bottom. So I've got my tan brogues on with brown socks, and my short my trousers are a little bit short. Um, do you know a few years ago that would have really bothered me and I wouldn't have bought the suit, but actually I'm more comfortable. <laughs> I'm more confident in my style now, and I can rock some short trousers that are too short for me. They're just cropped. So. Oh, this suit is from Max Mara and I got it from a charity shop. I combined it with a snakeskin shirt, which you can just, well, if I move my hair, you can just kind of see at the top and at the cuffs. I love that this is slightly short on me, this jacket, because it lets the cuffs pop out and there's a bit more detail. Oh, I'm getting warm now. <laughs> it's not quite cold enough outside to wear a full wool suit just yet. I've got my shiny black necklace and I've kind of cinched it all in with this um, tan leather belt that I got from a charity. In fact, Everything I'm wearing, everything apart from this, which was a present, is uh, from charity shops because that's how I roll. That's how we do things on this channel. So the only thing, like I say, that I didn't get from a charity shop is this, which someone very kindly gave to me for a birthday present, and I love it. I think these two patterns are close enough, even though they're not the same. They're close enough. They're the same colour palette, and they're both animal print. That they, mm, they just, I love it, I love it. And I've also combined it with my very old vintage, I mean, you know it's vintage, when you can see this really chunky phone holder here. I don't think they, they make phones like that anymore. But anyway, I've combined it with this. I love, love, love this look. I think it just looks fantastic. I feel really good in it. Oh, I bet I'm ever so warm. So that's the first look. And this is the second look with the suit. So this time I'm not wearing the jacket, I'm just holding it because you'll notice I'm also wearing a sun hat. <laughs> that's because I thought this might be a good look for those days when it's just blue sky and gorgeous sunset, sunset? And gorgeous sunshine, um, but also, you know, quite chilly. So you have those, those moments where the sun is shining and then the wind comes in and you'd be glad of a jacket, but you don't necessarily want to wear it all the time. So let's talk through the outfit. We've got the sun hat, we've got the jacket and the trousers again. I've actually kept the, uh, the socks and the shoe combination because I really like it and it's super comfortable as well. I think it is quite classic, quite chic and almost kind of, andro and <laughs> almost kind of androgynous as well because you've got the trousers, the wool trousers and then I thrifted these from the men's section at a charity shop. I've got quite big feet, so, <laughs> so I can do that. I'm also really warm still because these are woolen trousers so I'm going to have to take them off. Okay, bear with me on this one. It's a little bit unusual. I thought I would combine my vintage 80s orange micro suit <laughs> with an air hostess look. <laughs> I love this scarf. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got orange roses all over it with a lovely brown trim. And I really like it with this. I think the suit looks nice. I thought I'd do something a bit unusual on my feet. I've gone for orange socks and white sandals. Not traditionally what people would wear in autumn in the UK, granted, but I thought, you know, if I was feeling extra, I would bung on my hat, <laughs> take my little straw bag out and just, here we go, this is the outfit. So it is, it is pretty OTT for me. Um, I don't feel quite as good in this one, actually, as I was expecting. I thought it'd be really good. It might be the scarf, so actually maybe if I just undo it. Yeah, do you know what? I feel a little bit more natural now. And I've put my hair up because I can imagine myself flying down the road in a convertible. Not that I have one, but you know, maybe in the future. Okay, so this is the second combination. And I've ditched the suit jacket because I want to see what the skirt looks like on its own with something. On its own with something. <laughs> on its own without the suit jacket, basically. So I've kept the bracelet. I really like it. I think it looks really beautiful, so I've kept it. Um, I've combined it with the cream shirt that goes with everything. So it's really easy to style. Also brought in a bit of orange up here with my hairband. Nice tan bag to match the very, very thin tan belt that I've got on as well. And I've kept the socks with the sandals. So if any of you hate them, really sorry. I just want to try them because I keep seeing it on Instagram and I just wanted to try it and see what it looks like. Maybe it's a yes, maybe it's a no, but you don't know till you try. So that's the outfit. Do you know, I actually feel a lot more like me in this. I think because maybe the suit jacket looks great with other things and the skirt looks great with other things but together it might just be a bit too much vintage for me because th there probably is such a thing so anyway this is the outfit <laughs> so first up in the luxe outfits we have this lovely snakeskin dress it's a beautiful color scheme with warm rich 
browns and oranges and oh, I love it. I've combined it with a very very soft blanket scarf which has a really similar colour palette to the dress and lots of black on it too obviously. Um, combination with the sparkly tights I think is fabulous. Also I've got my brown Chelsea boots and a brown houndstooth bag too. And I really love this and I've tied it all together with literally a little black tie <laughs> a bow at the top it's a really warm luxurious outfit and I feel really really good in it no belt because it doesn't need it next up for Lux we have this little combination so if you've watched my recent thrifting videos you'll know that I picked up this absolutely stunning super soft velvet blazer from charity shop very recently it's a really gorgeous plum color absolutely adore it and I've combined it with an art deco-esque neck uh, bracelet and then some green beads around the top as well now I've pulled together the outfit with my lovely green trousers and I've got some brogues on um, Chelsea boots even <laughs> I love it it's so soft and so tactile and then third and final Lux outfit, <laughs> it's a bit of a wild card. I thought I would combine some bright yellow socks with white sandals because why not? Putting this with a green linen skirt and my white and gold Zara top as well. I've rolled the sleeves up because I felt it gave the outfit a bit more balance. So the gold stripes in the shirt match the yellow on the socks and then I've got my little straw bag as well. It's a bit of a quirky outfit but I think it works. So I've got my lovely mock neck, short sleeved, ribbed burgundy top, combined with a hob skirt. I can't remember if I got this from a charity shop or from Vinted, but I've had it quite a few years now. And then I've just combined them with my burgundy Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots are fabulous, absolutely fabulous for autumn. They're boots so you can be splashing through muddy puddles if you're so inclined, or pound the pavements as you go shopping, or whatever it is you do. But also, if it is still kind of warm, your legs don't swelter in the same way that they would with uh, knee-high boots, so they're really good. I'm not bothered with a necklace because where we've got the mock neck, there's a little bit of detail there already and I felt like it would be overkill, but you can absolutely put a necklace on if you want to. I added a really nice detail, uh, my, my chunkiest pearl bracelet that I have, because I thought my bare arms looked a little bit, well, bare. <laughs> so I'll just show you the back. The skirt's got a lovely swish to it. I love swishy skirts. So I feel really good in this one. I think because burgundy is one of my absolute favourite colours. Wearing it head to toe makes me feel precious. <laughs> so it's a thumbs up from me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is an outfit that I did not plan. I was literally just playing around um, in between outfit changes for the next one. And I love this. So I've got my suit jacket, which is obviously one of the statement pieces. But then I have decided to go a bit rogue <laughs> and this is an all-in-one colour outfit and I, I'm kind of cheating because it's all kind of warm brownie orange um, different shades but oh my god I absolutely love it so we've got the suit jacket that I mentioned and I decided just to do up one button because it adds a pop of gold at the top and then obviously you've got some interest here where it opens out and then you've got another row of buttons here with a tiny little orange vest that I have um, came from River Island originally from a charity shop obviously and has a nice little peplum here and then I've got my fabulous wide leg brown trousers again originally from Marks and Spencer's but from a charity shop and I've combined with my men's shoes because I think the brogues look fantastic um, the colour pulls in really beautifully and of course they go really nicely with the wide leg trousers um, I decided to do a little bit of interest I've added a, one of my favourite scarves just around the top of my head and Oh, I feel really good in this. I think because it's comfortable, it's practical, and I love the colour palette. Actually, yeah, I just love everything about it. Oh, love this one. So I've gone fully green for this, with a green top, green skirt, and you've even got, if you can see them, green socks on. And of course, I have a brown bag and brown boots too, because I don't have any. I don't think I've got any green bags at all, and I have no green shoes. So what I thought I would do is tie a green and brown scarf around the handle of my bag, which ties in the green and the brown really nicely. If you're wearing top half and bottom half, other way around, <laughs> if you're wearing top half and bottom half that are all the same colour, then it's fine to break it up with it a little bit, a little pop of colour. And actually, I think it elevates the outfit and adds a bit of detail and interest as well. So 
everything, yeah, literally everything I'm wearing came from a charity shop. And I tell you what, I feel really good in this outfit. I think I haven't worn this skirt very much at all. And I, I'm really glad I'm doing this video because it's helped me bring it back out into rotation. I mean, look at it. It's got a great, oh, it's got a great switch. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because literally the simplest things bring me joy, but it's a good way to be. I love the crispness of the pleats. I have bought pleated skirts before where you have to iron the pleats back in after you've washed it. And I'm sorry, but no, <laughs> that is not for me. But this one is just perfect. It, I, it's, oh, I can bring it up so it's really high waisted. I could combine it with a belt around my middle if I wanted to, but actually it's really good elastic, so it doesn't really need it. And I think because I've got so much pattern going on on the top, I don't need a belt for added interest. There's quite a lot there already, which is good. Um, and because of the detail, I didn't bother with a necklace of any kind. Could do something if I felt like it still needed something to finish it off, but I don't feel like that. Um, I think because I've got the scarf on the back, I love this combination. I think it looks really classy. I mean, <laughs> it'd probably look more classy if I very carefully ironed the skirt, skirt, the scarf. I haven't done that, but it is what it is. So, and obviously my chocolate brown boots, they match the, um, the brown, in fact, they, they match really well the brown on the bag. So I feel really great in this outfit. And that is what an outfit is supposed to make you do. It's supposed to make you feel fantastic. So, mm. <laughs> Okay, another all-in-one colour outfit. Of course, we have gone for orange. So we've got different shades. We've got a lovely rust orange in this satiny, silky dress, uh, skirt. And then this beautiful peach blouse with a huge collar and a little ruffle detail. I love it. Yeah, I really like this. So I've tied together the boots that I've put on with a nice chunky uh, tan leather belt as well. It's floaty, it's elegant, it feels really comfortable as well. There's, you know, not that I walk like this or anything, but there's lots of room to stretch, which is good. This is really nice floaty fabric as I've covered before. Just feels great. Um, I've also added a little bit of interesting detail with my apple necklace. Um, I'll come a bit closer so you can see. So it's got a bite taken out of it and it's filled with little gems. So it's really pretty. Um, and it kind of brings the eye up, which is good. Love this outfit, I'm really comfortable in it. I think it's a lovely autumnal outfit. <laughs> so this is the outfit, and I have to say, I'm super comfortable in it. So what I've done, I've got a slightly darker burgundy shirt and then a lighter, very slightly lighter, richer burgundy jumper, and combined them. I've got the, the cuffs poking out for added detail feel really snug, really warm, but not in a, an uncomfortable way. I feel like I can go out into a bracing autumn morning and be fine. And I've combined it with my trusty pleated skirt. It's obviously a light colour and it's very comfortable. I love the length as well because I'm very tall. It hits me just below my knees, which I think is really lovely for autumn. Um, obviously there's some breezes in autumn and I don't want the wind gusting up my skirt and blowing it up because that would... <laughs> comes with a little built-in belt as well with a gold buckle which adds a nice detail. Then the burgundy tights bring in the detail from the top which is great and little brown boots as well. The boots don't really match with the bag but I thought oh, it doesn't matter. They're far enough away that I think it's okay and actually love this bag. <laughs> it's really soft, it's really nice, it's a lighter tan brown which is great. One thing I wanted to say is I'm not wearing any jewellery because I was thinking about wearing bracelets but actually the cuffs add enough of a detail there so I think that's okay and then here we've got a really deep V for the jumper but I filled it with the, the, the shirt so I was thinking about doing maybe a little black bow there but actually I don't think it needs it so hair is uncomplicated as well it's just loose and down I feel really comfortable I feel like I could go out anywhere and feel just Okay, this is one of my favourite outfits. I love this. So again, I've gone for layers. I've got a cream shirt layered up with a kind of an oatmeal <laughs> coloured jumper. I absolutely love the big collar that pops out here. And then I've got the cuffs at the end as well for the detail. I've combined it with my trusty tartan skirt and I love this. Again, it's, it's from Marks and Spencer's originally, but I got it from a charity shop. Everything I'm wearing apart from the tights is from a charity shop. Everything. And I'm so happy about that. So what I've done is to pair a black necklace to bring 
bring out the black in the pleats. Actually, this was completely unintentional, but looking at the skirt, I've got cream, which is called out in the cream of the shirt. I've got oatmeal, which is the jumper, and then I've got black, which is called out in the necklace as well. So completely unintentional and subconscious, subconscious even, but uh, it's there, so that's good. It pulls it all together. I decided to keep my burgundy tights on because it adds a nice richness to the outfit, um, a nice pop of colour, and then of course I've got my lovely Oh, super comfortable knee-high boots that originally were from Banana Republic but I got them from a charity shop. So what I would absolutely love to combine this outfit with to finish it is a nice black satchel and I did have one but I painted it and whilst it looks lovely painted it's not black anymore so I think a nice boxy satchel here would look great and it would look really kind of back to school and academia style so this is the look. Okay this is quirky but I really like it. I think I love it for the weirdness of it. So the statement piece of this outfit is the tie. And let me just come closer so you can see you can have a really good look. It's got books all over it. It's a proper library tie. I thrifted this months ago and it hasn't made an appearance in a video since and I'm very happy to have a chance to show it to you now. So I don't know how to do a tie so I've just kind of knotted it and tucked the other bit under my, under my waistcoat. I have got the cream shirt again because it's so versatile, it's really comfortable actually and it's so versatile it goes with everything. So I combined it with my little knitted gold waistcoat vest type thing that was originally from BHS but of course got it from a charity shop. Then my black and brown Marks and Spencer skirt which also was from a charity shop. I've, from an accessory perspective, I've included my little black bag because I think it brings out the black from the skirt really nicely and that pairs up well. And then I've got my thrifted robes. I think they're men's, I might have mentioned that before. I think they're men's but they fit me amazingly, so why not? Anyway, I love this, I feel really comfortable in it. I just love the tie, it's so wonderfully wacky that why wouldn't you use it, you know? And another back to school with a slash academia outfit. This one also I love. I really love the striking contrast between the tie and the shirt. I think it's lovely. Um, I've combined my houndstooth bag with my houndstooth skirt because it makes sense to do that. Um, I've tried it all in with a big belt, big chunky brown belt, which also kind of ties in with the boots, although obviously again they're a different a different brown but I think that's fine. This I feel I think is quite a simple outfit but with a couple of statement accessories you can really make it bold and make it really striking. I really love this. It makes me feel really comfortable. I think because it's it I mean physically it is comfortable. It's not a restricting skirt. It's a nice flowy top. Um, I've got comfortable boots on so if I need to to run, not that I ever need to run, <laughs> but if I did I could and obviously a nice big bag so I can carry lots of things in. So yeah, I feel really good. And this is becoming my mantra, but you should always wear what you love. Wear what makes you feel good. This makes me feel good, so I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> Right, this casual outfit is one of my absolute faves in my wardrobe. I wear it all the time. So, where do we start? We've got the warmth of the crop top matched with the stark contrast of the snakeskin shirt, which I love. I brought it all together with a nice black shiny necklace because I think it brings out the black and matches really well. I got these from TK Maxx. They've just come out of the wash, so they're very, they're quite snug. I don't feel like I'm being squeezed, but I think if they were a centimetre, I would be, but I absolutely love them. Um, I combined them with the vans that I thrifted a few uh, few videos ago. I actually ended up having to give them to my daughter because they're not 100% comfortable for me when I go out walking. Um, they actually feel fine at the moment, so it's like they're taunting me. But I thought I would do something a little bit unusual. Where I've got the, the black trainers on, I've combined it with a really pretty evening bag. It's lots of beaded detail. You might think, why have you combined that with trainers? And you know, that's a perfectly reasonable question. But I thought with the white on the trainers and the white on the back, that might look quite nice. And also, it's a bit unexpected. I like those fun and slightly silly details in an outfit. If you're wearing trainers, you don't often wear a super fancy bag. And I thought, maybe I'll be the first one to do it. <laughs> so anyway, I feel really comfortable in this. There's something I'm noticing I'm saying a lot, where comfort is absolutely the be all and end all for me. If I don't feel comfortable, even if it's the most visually stunning outfit in the world, it's not the right outfit for me. So comfort is key and then everything else follows that. <laughs> this one I think is really fun and it's it's probably one that you're most used to seeing because you've got the, the orange and brown tartan 
plaid shirt. It's it's very autumnal. I think I've seen about a million pictures of people wearing these and going to pumpkin patches. There is nothing wrong with that. I love that and I love those pictures. But I've combined it with a messy bun, which I uh, I think there's an art to a messy bun. It has to look messy, but also really stylish. And mine has kind of looked messy, but uh, I'm not really fussed. So then we have got the same very snug jeans that I absolutely love. I've rolled them up because I want people to see my orange socks because I think it's really important to bring balance to an outfit and by that I mean having a detail up here that you can also kind of refer to down here. Not that you refer to someone's trousers. I'm referring it to your lower half detail. <laughs> Anyway, all I mean is it just adds a consistency to the outfit. Um, I like the little cheeky peak of sock there. And then I've got my enormous and very, very comfortable Reeboks as well, which I thrifted. I can't remember how much I got them for. I, I suppose they were about 10, because I tend to find trainers for around 10 pounds. They're super comfortable. I've just started wearing them out. The walking in them is like a dream. And to finish the whole outfit off, I've got my lovely little crossbody brown bag. It's quite small, but I can fit with the essentials in there. I can get my phone, my keys and my card and that is all I really need. So this is the finished outfit. I think it's so, I feel a bit like a clown, I'm not sure why, maybe because when I look down so I've got the really bulky cut of the jeans and then my bulky shoes as well, I feel like clown feet, but you know, it's all good and I feel good in the outfit, so yay! And thus concludes my outfits video. I will be making another outfits video focusing on the spooky side of autumn, so more Halloween based. Please watch out for that, that will be coming very soon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you did get some inspiration from some of these outfits. Please do comment below, let me know which ones you like the most. Um, if you've got any go-to fantastic outfits that you wear, I'd love to hear about them. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye!